Hello everyone and welcome to my 31st video. This video will sadly be of a failed experiment and this was uh, you know actually meant to be a Pelton turbine made from your everyday tablespoons. Uh, these as you can see are your normal spoons here only which has been gas welded to the fans of an alternator. This is the alternator of a Marty 800. Then from here the wires used to go to a 12 volt battery and uh, you know connected to a jeep ammeter which was supposed to show whether there's a current coming in from the alternator to the battery unfortunately the rpm was just not enough to get that initial generation and uh, you know to increase the rpm i had uh, changed uh, the position of the spoon also i made it shorter to make it rotate faster to get the required uh, pitch circle diameter uh, even then also I was still not able to do that. Yeah, um, the RPM was just not enough. I had measured with the tachometer but you know it's still not enough. Um, maybe perhaps in the future if I change this uh, alternator to a permanent magnet generator, uh, maybe I might be able to generate some power later on. Now the water for powering this comes from the uh, Syntex tanks in the previous video, that is the 30th video. And this uh, gives me a head of uh, around 20 meters or so. And uh, from the 2 inch pipe, GI pipe, it gets reduced uh, further as you can see like this. And uh, finally in the end comes to this pipe which is actually a brake pipe with a reduced uh, cross section over here. And this uh, increases the velocity. So just let uh, me on this one, the valve, and then you can see it rotating uh, you know, mechanically uh, just to understand the concept of a Pelton turbine. Yeah, so you can see the water is uh, powering the spoon here and this is how the spoons uh, rotate and it was supposed to generate power. Anyway, I hope you like this experiment even though it's a failed experiment and hopefully we can be successful in the future. Thank you very much for watching my videos and see you in the next one. Thank you.